Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcomedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So it's that time of the month again. I probably could have phrased that better. Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. We've got another major celebration going down on Global right here, right now. And in this video, we're going to find out exactly what they got in store for us together. So let's jump in. Here we go. And this celebration is called the Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day campaign part one. So we know at the very least there's going to be a part two at some point. Okay, here we go. A series of various events are available. New SSR, Gohan Teen, and Goten Kid will make their debut in the international version's Dokkan Festival. So at this point, most of you should know that this is the LR, Gohan, and Goten that also has their first active skill on Global. The family Kamehameha, they're freaking sick. I can't wait. Good luck to all of you, man. I, <laughs> I'm so scared to summon tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to summon because I want this guy. All right. On top of that, there will also be a 100 hour only super multi summon discount. Now, nobody really knows what exactly this means. Um, I'm hoping for three plus one, but maybe they'll do a step up of some kind as well. Like first multi is, uh, you know, 20 and the second is 30, 40, so on and so forth. And we also get tickets. Maybe I don't really know. I can only guess, but tickets will be nice. Bandai Spies, I mean, I guess it's already set, so they can't really make any changes, but we like tickets, guys. Tickets are awesome. Okay. Sees the chance to recruit the brothers as powerful allies. In addition to luxurious login bonuses, a new story event and Dokkan event will also be available during the event period. Awesome. Okay. So number one, we got the Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day login bonus. And this login bonus is pretty damn ridiculous. I'll show you guys in a second. All right. Number two, we got some special missions. Uh, we got some Dragonstone sales. So 32 stones for 50% off once only, unfortunately, kind of sad. And uh, 91 stone pack for 20% off five times. Okay. Oh, in addition, I didn't even notice this before. Okay, a three-time only super discount for 77 Dragonstones is available this time. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. I usually really like these 77 stone packs. So if you guys are pay-to-play players, then might be a good deal to consider. Um, I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly what price they were set at, but I remember these packs were pretty good. Okay. So solid deals there. Number four is Dokkan Festival. Um, this, you know, this banner doesn't really betray exactly what's going to be on the banner. They didn't really show like any Dokkan Fest exclusives that we know about. So um, I guess it's going to be a secret until the banner actually drops. Fingers crossed it's going to be solid though. Okay, number five. We got a new Dokkan event, of course, for the uh, LR uh, Gohan and Goten. At number six, we got Book of War Sun Family at Baba Shop. So basically at some point today, we should all find three of these items in our gift box, which can be used to exchange for the OG Family Kamehameha Goku or Gohan or Goten for free in the Baba Shop, which is freaking awesome since they're all very solid after Stream Z Awakening. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually very impressed by Bandai's generosity here. So thank you to Bandai for that. Number seven is a brand new story event called Sleeping Princess in Devil's Castle. And this is part two of the Dragon Ball story that will finally allow us to Dokkan awaken the AGL Kid Goku to his TUR form, which is Kid Goku and Kid Krillin, and get us one step closer to the LR Goku and Arale. Now, I mentioned this in my video earlier today, but in case you didn't watch it, according to Kawaii, we should expect to see the third part of this story in part two of the Goku Day celebration, which is probably about two to three weeks away. And this will finally bring with it the LR Goku and Arale awakening to global. So, of course, nothing set in stone, nothing's confirmed, but I'd say there's a very, very good chance it's gonna happen, and uh, I'm super, super hyped for it. All right, so moving on, we got number eight, which is part one of the Dragon Ball story, Curse of the Blood Rubies. So, if you guys didn't, you know, finish farming the Goku the first time around, or you just straight up didn't do it, then make sure to get it done this time, because like I said, the LR Awakening is most likely coming very, very soon. All right, number nine is the return of the uh, Family Kamehameha uh, Broly story event. Makes a lot of sense. And number 10, we got 10 Dokkan events that are going to be available every single day during the event period. One interesting thing to note is that they specifically decided to highlight these three banners in the news release as opposed to any of the other ones, which would lead me to believe that these three guys, the future Gohan, the transforming Goku, and the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks will be on the LR Gohan and Goten banner when it drops on Global tomorrow. Now, of course, like I said, I don't know anything, nothing's for sure, but I think it's a clue. I really do. All right. 
At number 11, we have the return of the Dragon Ball Super Broly story event, one of the best story events uh, out there, mainly because of the coat Goku and the coat Vegeta. These two guys are absolutely amazing for free-to-play units, and they both have Extreme Z Awakenings. The, the Broly from the story event's not bad either, but mainly the Goku and the Vegeta. Make sure to get those guys done if you haven't yet. And also, also, um, they're great for farming the super attacks for uh, base Gokus and base Vegetas since they drop as base Gokus and base Vegetas in SSR form. So you have that 50% chance to feed for super, so that's also super useful. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really great event. Number 12, we have a family Kamehameha summon. Now, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be uh, the, you know, OG family Kamehameha Goku, Gohan, and Goten as featured units, maybe some other stuff too, but uh, I don't really see a point unless you guys really really want to rainbow these guys I would say just stay away because they're already giving them out for free so it doesn't really make sense to spend your stones to pull for dupes but like I said it's up to you guys I would say completely skip that uh, number three or number 13 rather is gonna be oh interesting okay so this event apparently is gonna be permanent from the 14th so is it just gonna be like permanent for just I mean, permanent means forever, right? So I guess this event's gonna be always available for the rest of the game's life, or I don't know, that's kind of weird. Anyways, um, number 14 is the return of the Broly event, uh, Extreme Z Battle event, that is, to awaken your uh, STR Broly. And number 15, we have the Fire Broly event that's coming back. We have the Bardock event. Number 17 is success rates in training tripled. I don't think anybody really cares about that. And uh, number 18, we have the rank EXP tripled for the story mode. All right, so it's not bad, actually. If you guys are you know low on rank right now, a lot of people are asking me like, I mean, like every single stream, I have at least one person ask me, hey, Tiger, how do I rank up faster? I'm like a really low rank right now. I need a higher team cost. How do I get my rank higher? And I always say, wait for these events where you get like double, triple, even quadruple um, rank EXP from Quest and make sure to farm the crap out of uh, story at that time. So go to like the highest possible story stage you can go to, like 27.3 I believe is the highest we have right now. If you can get there, then do that one, run it over and over and over again. And you should be able to get to rank like 350 maybe at three times the XP without spending a single stone. So have fun with the grind, there we go. All right, so those are all the events that we can expect for part one. Um, I did mention that Int Janemba's EZA should be coming soon for Global, and I suspect, I suspect that it should be coming for part two of the celebration, but we'll have to see, right? All right, so that's all that stuff. Let's move on to the login bonus, and I did mention how absolutely insane this login bonus was. So for day one, like I said, today we get the Book of Wars to uh, get those free Family Kamehameha units, but also we get 13 stones for the first day of logins, tomorrow we get 14 stones, and on the 9th we get 15 stones. If you guys are wondering like why we get so many stones, basically um, it's uh, 5 plus 7, 5 plus, no, 5 plus 8, 5 plus 9, and 5 plus 10. So 5 plus 8, I believe, is uh, Go, Gohan, or Go, no, I think it's Gohan, right? Yeah, so 5 and 8, if you say it phonetically, apparently in Japanese it can be um, pronounced as Gohan, and 5 plus 9 is Goku, and then 5 plus 10 is Go 10, of course. So uh, that's why we're getting this number of stones. It's, I mean, they always have like funny justifications for what they do, but I'm down, because this is a crap ton of stones, guys. 13 stones, 14 stones, 15 stones, and after that we go back to one stone a day, uh, for the rest of the, the celebration, but yo, I'm I'm totally okay with that, man. Like, they start us off with, what, 30, uh, no, it's like 42 stones, I think, on the first three days. Yo, math is hard, give me one sec, guys. 42 stones, 42 stones in the first three days. I don't even care it's one stone a day after that, because it's totally fine, right? It's totally fine, all right. So, uh, everything else is pretty standard. We got, like, highs, we got... Um, you know, some orbs, some uh, metals, some, you know, support items, all that stuff. Pretty standard. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing here. Um, I don't think so. So basically, yeah, Book of War can exchange for the Goku, um, the, you know, Gohan, Goten. Sounds good to me. All right. And also we have the special missions. Let's see how many stones we can get here. That's all we really care about. Like, <laughs> I don't think anyone cares about the count for, like, you know, Baba points or anything like that. All right, so three, five, uh, seven, nine, 
All right, so nine from part one mission. It's kind of weak, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that is that is pretty weak. And for daily missions, we get one per day. Okay, so hopefully, honestly, like I I'm kind of disappointed by this. <laughs> hopefully we get better uh, rewards for the missions in part two, I'm guessing, but um, that's all we really have to talk about, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you are the most excited for when it comes to this part of the celebration. Um, of course, this is part one. Like I said, there's definitely gonna be a part two, so stay tuned for that too. Once that, uh, once more information comes out about that, I'll make sure to let you guys know. But um, as far as right now, I mean, definitely, 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 I cannot wait for the banner to drop tomorrow. I got some videos, some streams, some good stuff for you guys uh, planned already. So um, get hyped for that. But yeah, I'm excited to see what this multi, super multi summon discount is going to look like. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Of course, I want to see what the banner looks like. Now, if my prediction comes to pass, um, I mean, there's not really much you guys can do for me, I guess. But just, just let me know in the comments. Say in the comments, yo, Tiger, you were right in my next video because... I have a good feeling, I have a really, really good feeling that the future Gohan, Transforming Goku, and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks will be on there, and uh, I guess we'll wait and see. But that's all I gotta say today, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and uh, stay tuned for more awesome content very soon. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcomedia, signing out.